Hi! In this talk, I will present our work, Self-Supervised Learning of Audiovisual Objects from Video. My name is Triandafilos, and this work was done in collaboration with Andrew Owens, Junson Chung, and Andrew Zissoni. The goal of the paper is to learn to detect and group potential sound sources into distinct objects and apply those to useful downstream tasks. Given a video, our model first produces an audiovisual attention map which highlights the location of sound sources in every frame. We use optical flow to temporally track pixels over time and then aggregate the attention over the pixel trajectories. This results in a two-dimensional map which contains a score for every pixel trajectory representing how correlated it is to the audio over the duration of the clip. We finally determine the peaks of this map using non-maximum suppression. Every peak now corresponds to a distinct object and can be used to extract visual features to describe it. Those features may then be applied to useful downstream tasks, such as active speaker detection, movie speaker source separation, or audio-visual synchronization. Our pipeline is learned entirely through cell supervision. We can therefore apply it in new domains, such as videos of puppets or cartoons. As we have seen, our model groups attention maps into sound sources. To learn these attention maps in a self-supervised way, we use contrastive learning. Following previous work, we obtain positive and negative video audio pairs, where for the positives, the audio and video are temporally synchronized, while for the negatives, they are misaligned. The network generates an attention map for each. The contrastive loss then encourages strong attention response for the positive pairs and reduces the response for the negatives. We will now demonstrate how our method works on these applications. The first application is active speaker detection. For a given video clip, the task is to detect potential speakers and determine which ones are active at every moment in time. In the following clips, we show the output of our trained model by marking the speakers that are predicted as active with a blue bounding box and the inactive ones with a red box. First, we show some examples from the Columbia dataset, which is a standard benchmark for this task. By private concerns uh, on US relations with those countries. And also FOIA, uh, Freedom of Information Request. It's Tell me if you think it's... What I want to know is... We emphasize that contrary to previous works, our method doesn't use an external detector, but learns to detect and classify talking heads as speaking or not, just by watching videos of people talking. Here are some more examples on clips from friends. Our model has not seen any episodes from this series during training. I have to say, Tupelo Honey by Van Morrison. No. Not even with your best friend? No. That is so sad. The calming sounds of the babbling brook. Okay, this isn't working. I'm still awake. Yay. And that takes, what, just six or seven minutes? And here are some examples in new domains. We note that previous methods cannot be applied to this data because phase detectors do not generalize well to non-human faces. But Elmo, I don't know if I can do them all together. Oh, Zoe can do it. Wow. Just try really hard and think like this. Hi, everyone. Oh, what does Miss... <laughs> then who can be the great in-betweeny? Who? Who? Hey, Dad, you said you were going to play catch with me tonight. Well, I have to work, but give the monitor a kiss. It takes six hours to make breakfast now. Hey, you should see how much trouble Dad's having shaving with a straight razor. Wait, 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 wait. I read somewhere your people are hospitable to guests. Is that true? Oh, yes. The second task that we apply our learned audiovisual objects to is sound source separation. The task is, given a video with multiple speakers, to detect the speakers and separate their voices. Unlike previous works, our method can do all this in a single pass without requiring object detectors. It just provides a source separation network with the visual descriptors for every audiovisual object. Here is an example of a heated panel discussion. 
this. If you're going to be in America, listen, if you're going to be the no, man who's going to do, do a full right, month of something like this, you better know exactly Harry. what the evidence is right. that you're talking about, not assumptions. Look at the, the video. microphones work, y'all. Look we can at talk the video. You. you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the. You will now hear how our model separates the voice of every detected speaker in turn. Every one of the speakers is detected and tracked as a separate audiovisual object shown here with a different color. The face crop that we show each time will correspond to the isolated speaker. Those crops have been generated automatically from the audiovisual object tracks. The people in America, the people, no, excuse me, sir, excuse me. Look at the video, look at the video. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the. If you could be, listen, if you could be the man who's going to do, do a film on something like this, you better know exactly what the evidence is that you're talking about, not assumptions. All right, hold on. Let, let Jason finish his point. Harry. All right. The, the, The microphones work, y'all. We could talk a little lower. We can extend this application to non-human speakers too. You will now see some animated examples where our model can separate the voices of active speakers in turn. Bart, can I ask you an important question? How much? Twenty nine ninety nine. Oh, here's fifty. Woohoo! That's your donut money too, Mister. Oh. Bart, can I ask you an important question? Twenty nine ninety nine. Woohoo! Oh. How much? Here's fifty. That's your donut money too, Mister. Finally, we can also use the same model to remove background noise from animated clips. Here are some examples. And you're so upbeat. You think everything's excellent. You're so upbeat. You think everything's excellent. The big TV is telling us so. <laughs> the big TV is telling us so. To test our method's ability to detect and track talking heads, we also evaluate it on this task directly. Our method is robust to camera motion and succeeds in accurately tracking speakers even when they are moving around the scene with complex background or when the camera zooms in and out of their faces. Here are some examples. This is the perfect place to come if you want to see old roses looking their absolute best and the very latest is about to take place and here's another clue if you come in. How well I'm doing and uh, what I'm doing right and if I'm doing it right it's also good because they give me a little bit of Victorian horticultural sensibility. But in order to get a The mayor of Miami speaks for many when he says it's just a hollow piece of plastic with an antenna that swivels around and you walk around and it points to things. Sadly, that's what often happens. That's the status quo today. But they didn't. The final application that we discuss is audiovisual synchronization in videos. Here is an example of a clip where we have synthetically shifted the audio significantly. Observe how, when the audio and video streams are off-sync, the attention map values are low. It's like this chemical thing, you know? Every time she starts laughing, I just want to... <laughs> pull my arm off, just so I have something to throw at her. To synchronize the streams, we evaluate different shifts and select the one that maximizes the audio-visual score. Observe how, now that the two streams are synchronized, the attention values are higher. It's like this chemical thing, you know? Every time she starts laughing, I just want to... <laughs> pull my arm off just so I have something to throw at her. Thanks for watching. Please refer to the paper for detailed numerical evaluations and check out our website for more examples.